I'd like you all to welcome State Senator Cheryl Kagan, the founder and producer of the Uninaugural Concert. So I'm Cheryl Kagan, and I'm very proud to be the senator for Rockville and Gaithersburg. And thank you. The day after Donald Trump was elected president, I was bereft. And while I always believe that any one person can make a difference, I was wondering what I could do. I couldn't single-handedly defend the Supreme Court. I couldn't certainly undo the election results, which is what we'd all want to have happen. And so I came up with this idea. And it was a little bit of a build it and they will come, I hope. <laughs> and we rented a 500 seat theater in Silver Spring. I hired Sweet Honey and The Rock and four other performers, amazing performers. And we sold out the theater two weeks in advance and raised over $50,000 for, yeah. The beneficiaries that year were national organizations that I thought were going to be among the most threatened by the incoming administration. So we raised the money for Planned Parenthood, the ACLU, the League of Conservation Voters, the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force, and the, of course I just blanked, and the Brady Campaign to prevent gun violence, right? And it was extraordinary. How many of you were there by a sound of applause? All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for being there then, and thank you for coming back. So it was a one-time only thing. And then everyone said, OK, so when are you going to do it next year? I said, no, 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 it's a one-time only thing. And then in September or October, I said, crap, I think I need to do this again. <laughs> and so we did it again, and then we did it again, and so this is the end. I have been so grateful for your support, for the community interest. It has brought us together in a time of crisis for our country and our community. We have been able to celebrate through extraordinary music while raising money for deserving causes. So we've done 20 different causes over the years. In addition to the ones, the, f the five that we did the first year, we then shifted to mostly local until tonight. There are two national organizations here but we focused on poverty, pollution, affordable housing, climate change, domestic violence, suicide prevention. I mean, there's immigration. There's no end to the number of causes of worthy nonprofits and advocacy organizations. So tonight, we've got five terrific groups here. We've got um, Conflict Resolution. We've got CRICMIC, the Conflict Resolution Center in Montgomery County. You want to do? We've got Americans United for Separation of Church and State. We've got Viz Arts, Viz Ability for people with disabilities to enjoy the arts. McHale, the Montgomery Coalition for Adult English Literacy. And we have the National Center for Death with Dignity. You'll be hearing briefly from each of those folks uh, this evening, but before we start the music, I just want to recognize the incredible support from the volunteers, from the producers, from our fiscal agent, from the graphic designers, from the, the webmaster. Uh, there's so many people who helped this event come to be at such a high end. The video, if you haven't watched past year's video, it's extraordinary. We've got just really talented people who are who help pull this together and I hope you'll read the thank you pages uh, in this um, program um, if you haven't had a conversation with the causes they are over here and you were each given a gold coin when you came in you were also each given the opportunity to buy an additional coin for just ten dollars which could be a bonus vote for any of the five, or you can vote for all of the above. There's a sixth table for all of the above. But the, the proceeds, in addition to a base level of support for the nonprofits, each gets a percentage of additional funds that are donated tonight based on your votes. And uh, so after the Electoral College craziness, I say I believe in direct democracy, and so your votes are going to directly influence how the money is apportioned. So make sure you chat with those folks. Pick one that you like the most 
uh, and want to support or vote for all of the above. On this side, we've got merchandise from our five performers. I hope you will consider going home with an inaugural mug or shot glass, because I think we kind of need the shot glass thing going on, uh, as well as we've got CDs and t-shirts and download cards and just a lot of other stuff. So please support the performers. And Dawson's Market, I think a lot of you were uh, starting the eating and drinking thing. It's a wonderful community-based market in Rockville Town Square, and they have been our partners all four years. And so Dawson's, we're thrilled to have you back. And every year, they have donated. <laughs> Bart Yablonski, the owner, uh, once again is donating 25% um, of, of, of what you guys pay, and it's going back into the, the fund for these causes. So please buy food and drink. So uh, thank you to Montgomery College and their staff. Dr. Pollard was not able to be with us tonight, but she sends her greetings, and, uh, and they have been a wonderful source of support. Um, again, there are a lot of thank yous, but uh, let's get to the music, because that's one of the reasons why we're really here. To start off this evening, we have Rod McDonald. Rod flew up from Florida. He's a troubadour who has been on the circuit for decades. I love his voice and his powerful songs and lyrics. Um, I'm not going to do long introductions for any of these folks because you'd rather hear from them than from me, uh, but please join me in welcoming Rod McDonald. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Cheryl, for that nice introduction. Although decades, I don't know, that's scary. <laughs> and I want, to, I want to say a special thanks to Cheryl for, uh, of course, all the work she's put into this. She's thanked everyone else. How about a little round of appreciation for her? <laughs> you know, Cheryl uh, uh, is the sponsor of a house concert series called Folk and Great Music, the only unionized house concert series in America. But on top of that, she's a champion Scrabble player, I discovered. I know this because she wiped the floor with me when I played her, handing me a, a piece of paper that had something like 150 two-letter words on it. I had no idea there were so many two-letter words in English. But uh, someone who knows what she's talking about. Well, uh, let's back up historically a little bit. Here's a song from January 19th, 1917. 2017. <laughs> Hasn't been that long. 2017. I'd love to be wrong, but here's what I see. Millions of people, eyes glued to the TV. They have no idea what's about to come down. They think it's a game show with celebrity clowns. It's gonna get ugly, the stench will be strong. But hey, like I said, I'd love to be wrong. I'd love to be wrong, but here's what I feel. The working man thinks he's gonna get a good deal. When all they're gonna do is enrich themselves. Carve out some new breaks and screw everyone else. You better not get sick, or your money's all gone. But hey, like I said, I'd love to be wrong. I'd love to be wrong, but it looks very plain. Betraying one's country for one's private gain. is a game the authorities ought to stop this very hour. But they're doing nothing, they just want more power. So they can finally take it all away. Your health, your retirement, your bright sunny day Your wilderness, your freedom to love who you please Your public school system, your kid's chance to succeed Your right to speak freely, your right to belong But hey, like I said, I'd love to be wrong Yeah, 
Yes, I'd love to be wrong. I'd love to relax. I'd love to invent my own set of facts. I think facts should be true, so I can't agree that what you imagine is at all real to me. I'd love to be wrong, have everyone free, instead of having your freedom be punishing me. I'm expecting more rain, much bigger floods, more corporate judges, more morons in trucks, taking over the streets and waving their guns. Small countries invaded by much bigger ones. The free world in crisis, its leader denying. He's already been paid off for those bullets flying. And when it all falls apart and they start to crack down on the weak and the helpless, will you just go along? I hope you don't mind my little song. But hey, like I said, I'd love to be wrong. I thought I'd start off with a cheery little number. Um, I asked Maureen Harrigan to come out and sign this next tune. Maureen, are you there? You there? Are we here anywhere? No? We lost her? She's here. She's coming. Oh, she's coming. OK. This is kind of a silly song, but I've discovered people like it, so I'm going to sing it for you. I wish I could say I've memorized it, but it's too new. All right. Now the white guys held a rally in the city We need to get rid of blacks and Jews, they cried They asked the president what he thought about it And this is how he replied We're taking the USA out of North America We've been stuck here under Canada for too long and the stupid people cheered and said, don't forget the queers. They knew the president couldn't possibly be wrong. Well, the president held a meeting there in Washington to announce new guidelines for the nation's schools. From now on, there'd only be Christian education. And when asked about that First Amendment rule, he said, we're taking the USA out of the Constitution. That document been making such a mess. And the stupid people cheered and said, whatever you do and abortion, they knew it was for the very best. Well, now the president met with the leaders of great nations to decide with whom the USA would trade. Winners were the ones who bought his daughter's blue jeans As the president patiently explained We're taking the USA out of planet Earth For too long we've been sitting and spinning our wheels And the stupid people cheered and said Let's deport all the Martians They knew he was the one who made the deals They made a bargain with the Russian space program since there was no US program anymore to ferry the president and his followers to safety and began to plan for civil war well the gun makers descended upon Washington to announce the removal of all laws anyone could buy anything Anyone could shoot anyone As the president announced to great applause We're taking the USA out of the solar system I'm tired of going around in circles every year And the stupid people cheered in the last TV network Said the president has brought an end to fear As the day of rapture came upon them the Russians loaded up the ships and flew away. 
All the top Republicans and church leaders Went off to find themselves a brighter day Somewhere in the asteroid belt it happened Like a wave crashing on a distant shore The ship exploded like a supernova And the USA became great once more Hey, old lady, old lady Thank you. Thank you, Maureen. That's called Wishful Thinking. That's the title of that song. Well, you know, um, <clears throat> this, uh, this past year I was over in uh, Europe on tour. And uh, everywhere I went, they asked me, what about that guy, Donald Trump? <laughs> And uh, I'm always suspicious when I hear people say what I always say to that is. But I discovered that it really works sometimes. And what I said was, oh, thank you so much. What I ended up saying was, you know, we came to Europe to get away from that guy. <laughs> but then they would ask, well, how could that have possibly happened? And so I thought uh, I'd like to sing this for you tonight. This is a love song for the average American voter. Public smokes two packs a day, drives home from work on the interstate highway. After drinking three beers, cell phone in hand, he's doing 80 in his oversized van. But Joe's not afraid of dying from tobacco or drinking or even his driving. Got the radio on, the reception is clear. He's hearing all the things he should fear. Joe Public is afraid of Al Qaeda, they're coming to get him sooner or later. Joe Public is afraid of terror. He keeps getting closer in the rearview mirror And all those illegals crossing the border Crawling through the desert coming for his daughter Joe Public's got a lot on his mind Joe Public makes 35000 Has two kids in high school trying for college He walks in the door, their music is playing He can't understand a thing that it's saying But Joe's not afraid of his kids We'll find the handgun where he keeps it hid Joe's afraid of the United Nations Gun laws, gay rights, and peace demonstrations He went to Home Depot, but duct tape and plastic In case the real enemy does something drastic Like mailing him anthrax and causing a panic Or requiring everyone to learn to speak Spanish Joe's can't ready for freedom to happen When the government comes to take away his weapon Joe Public's got a lot on his mind Got asthma at 40. His health insurance costs more than his mortgage. The state stopped testing cars for emissions. Joe's glad because he would have had to fix his. But Joe's not afraid of pollution. Thinks less regulation is the only solution. And don't get him started on health care. He says everyone knows it's a socialist nightmare. He's down with the troops. He supports every mission that'll keep his gas under four bucks a gallon. But why do they hate us? He can't understand when we never ever did nothing to them. Joe can't wait for the next election to re-elect the guy who took away your pension. Joe Public's got a lot on his mind.
Thank you. <clears throat> well, you know, all kidding aside, I was reading uh, something somebody sent me on Facebook the other day of how all of us are just trying to undo the 2016 election. Well, yeah, we'd sure like to, but that's not really the point. That really isn't the point. I believe that we're here tonight and that we're where we are because, not because of that, that it isn't just a partisan political thing. I look at what's going on out there and I think that we're appalled that some of the most fundamental core beliefs of our democracy are being undermined. The belief in fair elections that aren't gamed or rigged or the result of enticing other countries to get involved. I'm also appalled at the thought of the leader of our country trying to pit some groups of our country against others, some ethnic, religious, racial people, get them riled up to act against each other. I'm also the kind of person who expects the leaders of our country to tell the truth. And for these and so many more reasons, I want to say to you folks and to all of us that we're here tonight for a serious purpose, that we're not just here to make jokes, but to plant that seed, nurture that seed, to bring our country back to where we feel it rightfully belongs. That's what I want to say. Now, everybody get up. Come on, on your feet. Let's go. I don't want you falling asleep. Everybody up. I want you to sing this with me. This is called Give Justice a Chance. With apologies to our dearly beloved John Lennon. Everybody's talking about Michael Cohen, Manafort, Roger Stone, Michael Flynn, Rick Gates, Levin Igor, Papadopoulos. All we are saying, give justice a chance. Come on, let me hear you. All we are saying, give justice a chance. Everybody's talking about Sondland, Vinman, Yovanovitch, Holmes, Catherine Croft, Laura Cooper, Bill Taylor, Gert Volker, Fiona Hill. All we are saying, give justice a chance. Can't hear you yet. All we are saying, give justice a chance. Everybody's talking about Columbine, Sandy Hook, Virginia Tech, Santa Fe, Roseburg, Red Lake, Nickel Mines, Parkland. All we are saying, give justice a chance. All we are saying, give justice a chance. Everybody's talking about Soleimani, Giuliani, Khashoggi, Zelensky, Bolton, Putin, Hunter Biden, Moscow, Mitch, freedom. All we are saying, give justice a chance. All we are saying, give justice a Here's one for all the places that are going to be underwater in 10 years if we don't do something. Everybody's talking about Jakarta, Miami, Venice, Amsterdam, Maldives, Bangladesh, Singapore, New Orleans, Delray Beach, Florida. All we are saying. 
Give justice a chance All we are saying Give justice a chance Come on, sing it out Yeah, all we are saying Give justice a chance Thanks, everybody. It's been a great pleasure singing for you. Say